some other quality of life features that we added in uh, is the ability here in the channel browser or the channel, not channel browser, Lord have mercy, the channel effects in the channel effects menus, you now have the ability to change the element or change the loop from within this space right here. And while that, why that's important and why we decided to do that was because uh, it gives you like, so right here, as you can see in your little loop browsers right here in this area, you can like that says empty. I can read that, that says empty. But this one, it says snap, but I can't fully see it without having to go through here and go into the thing and see, oh, that's snap 01. Now I can easily just pull up my channel browser and there it is. I can see the full loop right there, the full loop name. You know what I'm saying? And that works for any of them. If I'm on channel uh, six here, this is element, right? Element something. I don't know what it is. Let's click it. It's element 34. You know what I mean? So now I know where I'm at and I just get a better thing. And sometimes you're just working. It's just a better workflow when you're here inside, um, you know, instead of having to go here, go here. So, but if I've already, if I'm already like tweaking a clap or tweaking a snap or something, you know what I'm saying? I'm already in here in this menu and I'm tweaking something or moving something. Uh, you know, I'm like, oh, what channel am I on? What channel am I on? I'm on channel five. Now I gotta go, oh, five. And I gotta go down here and go for, no. We're right here on five. There's the loop browser. Grab it, change it out, change it to something else. You know what I'm saying? Just makes it a little bit more streamlined. So these are that's a quality of life thing that I think even that little small thing changes the game. Now, speaking of changing the game, this feature I'm actually low-key probably one of the most excited about. I'm really excited about this feature. And it, in the channel browser, you can now actually move the channel around and you can open up multiple channels. Let me show you almost like plugins. So if I click right here at the top of the channel effect, I can move it anywhere I want to move it on the interface, right? So I can have that there, then I can open up three and then I can move three down here Then I can open up eight. And I can move eight. Look at how cool that is. Now I could be tweaking and working with multiple um, browsers, or not multiple browsers, Lord have it, multiple channel effects um, all in one situation. You know what I'm saying? Could literally just move it anywhere on the interface I want. You know what I'm saying? Don't want to move it out of bounds. You don't want to move it off the screen. You know what I'm saying? But move it. But you have to click. It's funny. You have to click right up here at the top, right there. And it's like a little grabbing thing right there. So easily that you can work with multiple things. So it's just kind of opening up some features for power users to be able to, you know what I'm saying, really, uh, really kind of move. So you got your loop browser here. You got multiple brow you got multiple channel effects open. You're able to kind of jump around, tweak this, tweak that. Really gives you some some really cool ways of doing it. You can move it again anywhere you want in the interface just by clicking at the top and dragging it there into that position. And the cool thing is they actually remember the position. So if I move this over here and say, I move this guy right here and let's say I move this one here, but then I close this, close that, close that. If I click on four, four comes back back there, three comes right back there, two comes right back there really, really cool. You know what I'm saying? So they remember the position that you had them in. And so if you ever just want to move it back, just, just move it back there. You know, uh, that's where the default position is. It's really cool stuff when you're working with, um, you know, when you're working and you're building out your loop, you want, you know, want it to be uh, a little bit more streamlined and have, you know, options to be able to jump around and move around or what have you. All right. So those are some kind of quality of life updates. Uh, another thing that you guys have been asking for is with the metronome and being able to uh, split it. So I, I haven't been able to get the multi channel output thing kind of rolling. We're still working on that. But as a as a spot right now, you can now Get something. 
if, if you're listening on headphones, you can hear that the metronome is now on the left side. And you can split it by going into the menu here, the settings, clicking split metronome, twist it over there. But you can also, and I'm gonna show you guys this. Let me bring my screen over here. Uh, I have to go back full screen. You can also split it by hitting the L key. So if you're here, I can hit L on my keyboard to split it to the left, L for left. It'll split the metronome to the left. So if you are routing this in a live situation, you wanna get like a Y cable or something like that, or make sure that the channel that's coming back to the band, coming back to the, you know, from the house or however you have it routed, make sure that you're having only the click coming off the left channel because it's coming off the left channel, right? Uh, those are the options. I'm working on multi-channel, multi-output. That stuff is really, really hard to figure out, guys. Code is not fun. It, you know, that one little feature, just being able to figure out how to split it to the left side with a button took me like four or five weeks to figure out. So there you have it.